boy saw the Holy Ghost when Kwame walked there. That boy. <laughs> that boy said, fuck this shit. <laughs> I'm giving my life to God. Because <laughs> anything could have happened. You hear me? Anything could have happened. I'm just sitting there trying to do a live. You know, eat my crab boil. Anything could have happened. And here comes six points. Coming in there. Anything could happen. So with that being said. I'm going to get rid of all these videos. I'm going to start bringing on new content. <laughs> oh boy. That boy. <laughs> that boy left Atlanta. And, and went to church. And got baptized. That boy. That boy. <laughs> that boy. The preacher said I baptize you in the name of the father, the son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> she watched it. I said it the other day. Crab Boyle TV said. <laughs> Crab Boyle. Crab Boyle said. I feel like a new man. I feel like I could go up here on YouTube and do new content. Yeah, I already got rid of my videos. I gave my life to God. <laughs> I'm still jumping off the porch with Uncle Brown skin. <laughs> Salute to my brothers, Police Side TV, Federal Talk TV. Yeah, I turned over a new leaf. Now I don't understand why people still talk about me. That boy said, that boy, that boy sat at the front pew in church. That boy, that boy went to church and sat in the front pew. That nigga said, it's time for some chameleon. You know, the, the preacher give out the wine and the crackers. Like, he the first one in line for, for communion. Like, <laughs> That boy, that boy said, that boy said, <laughs> you know, that boy, they, you know how, <laughs> you know how you got that, you know how you got that view? From the pool pit, you know how you can see the, the you can see the audience from the pool pit, and you see the different pews and stuff. Pretty much the the view, the view that the preacher got. So when you stand on the pool pit, you look down, you can see you can see Crab Boyle TV sitting on the on the pool on the first pool pit, and you know you got the choir behind you, and you know he you know he's short, so he, <laughs> his legs swinging his legs swinging in the pew in a, in a uh, on the pews. And then when you look at them, you know how the camera move up. So you see the leg, you know how they're doing the movies, how you see the feet, then the camera move up like that. And then when it get up to his uh, then it really get up to his face, so the camera toss on. Amazing grace. How sweet the sound that say. A wretch like me. Oh, 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 my Lord. Oh, 
Boy! Oh, shit! Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh. That boy, that boy doing a whole soundtrack. That boy talking about some <laughs> wait in the water, wait in the water, children, wait in the water. God's gonna trouble the waters. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit boy that boy that boy singing all the negro spirituals that nigga <laughs> that nigga <laughs> that nigga become hella active in the church community that boy the deacon he, <laughs> that boy a usher that boy become a choir member that boy <laughs> that boy <laughs> Oh my lord, boy. That shit crazy, man. This boy went there and got saved, boy. <laughs> they say that boy went and got saved. <laughs> he a weirdo so they you know the church recognized behavior so they know he a weirdo so they don't have him as a youth minister so they just go on go ahead and make him a regular evangelist <laughs> they let him get up there and talk on the pool pair every, every now and again on a sunday you know when the, when you know when a preacher let other people speak they just go ahead and promoted him to evangelist you know what i'm saying <laughs> he actually go up there thinking he he doing something y'all he you know how he get up on youtube and talk can y'all picture him just on the altar? <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Yeah. Yeah, uh... Yeah, I, I go by Evangelist. Crab Oil TV. And I come to you all a humble man. I, too, went through a real-life situation and... Listen, 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 listen. And it wasn't even, li listen. And it, it was out of my control. I mean, it got real. Like, I, I didn't know God was real until I saw it. Like, li listen, listen. And I, I'm not just saying I'm scared or I didn't go there with the intentions or doing something. Because I did. I did. And you know how, like, the older ladies in church, like, the ad lib, go ahead, baby. Take your time, baby. Take your time, baby. Go ahead, God. God working on you, baby. Yeah, you know, and, and thank you. Thank you, Sister Williams. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Williams. You know, and uh, I, I'm up here on YouTube, and I, I do my podcast. I had to switch all my content around. You know, and, 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 you know, I had to make it more for the gospel. You know, I like to thank the preacher. I like to thank my pastor, the choir, you know, you all. You know, I actually met Kwame Brown. And I have to say, he was really seven foot tall. <laughs> it's a, it's a, now, you know, this is the whole premise of, you know, why I'm up here. I'm up here to let you know that anything can happen. And anything is possible. Well, I'm a living testimony of that. You know? I didn't think it would happen to me, but it did. That's why I decided to change my life around. I decided to do new content for y'all. And I'm going to push out more. I'm going to push out better. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Excuse me, church. I'm I'm in YouTube mode. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, uh, forgive me. I'm going, to, I'm going to change my life around. Be a better church member. Get more involved. 
Bring the preacher his water when he's thirsty. Help the ushers out when they're short a man. Help the choir out when they're short a choir member. You guys can depend on me. I am simply a vessel that God is using. And like I used to say on my YouTube channel, which you all can follow me on my YouTube channel, subscribe. I'm gone. <laughs> and let the church say amen. <laughs> right? Right? They're like, take, take your time, Terry. Take your time, Terry. Terry, take your time. God is using you, Terry. Now, I know I told you I was gone, but I'm actually back. See, I walked in there with the intentions of having lunch with another YouTube content creator. It didn't go the way I thought it would. You know, we were doing lives and we was eating food and having a good time. And, and listen, 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 listen. Don't get me wrong. I was definitely there on some devil time. I was on some demon time. I really was there on demon time. Isn't that what the youth, isn't that what the young folks like to say, demon time? <laughs> you, you guys know I'm 50, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm 49, but I'll be 50 in, a, in another a couple of months. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, where was I? Yeah, I was, I was definitely there on demon time. You know, uh, I went live. You know, I, I, I told, I told the internet that, you know, I was going to be there at this time. I caught my flight at that time. This is when I landed. You know, I, I did a whole lot of stupid things. But you know, God was using me as an example to let other people know on YouTube that this isn't a game. You know how the church was like, whoo, amen, baby, amen, amen, <laughs> amen, baby, amen. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Mary. Appreciate that, Sister Mary. Yeah, I, you know, I, I learned my lesson. You know, and when I got there, I thought I was somebody I knew I was. But God showed me otherwise. He humbled me. <laughs> he really humbled me. What's up, Evelyn Underwood? What's good? Appreciate you. Always appreciate the support. <laughs> she said these screw tube streets. Damn. You know, he worked with me. You know, he humbled me. And, uh, you know, and he even made it so Kwame Brown could make his way to where I'm at. And uh, I got to say, you know, I didn't know what could happen. But it also helped me realize that putting Kwame Brown aside, it could have been anybody. You know, and you know, I just want to say thank you, God. Because as you can see in the picture that's behind me, when I was actually at the Juicy Crab, it looked like I seen a ghost. Because I did. I didn't know what this man was going to do. But God showed his favor. And he let me make it out of Atlanta a lot. Thank you, God. You know, this particular situation makes a song come to my mind. You know how the older ladies go, woo, sing it, baby. Go ahead, girl. Let, let God use you. Let God use you. Yeah. Thank you, Sister Williams. I, I really am. And this particular song, it's perfect for this situation. Now, if you allow me, <clears throat> never would have made it. Never would have made it. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. 
and never would have made it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, man.